Hey everybody, we're going to do a two minute tip on cutting and inserting time. This is the process of actually adding in a section. So rippling everything to the right, shuffling it over and making room for something that we need to add. So in this case, we might want to move a little bit of this verse after the intro so we can add another part here. And so what we need to do first is set the locators at the place where we want to insert the time. So if you want to do four bars, just like this, come into our edit, and then under our cut insert time submenu, you can see we can cut selection or cut section between locators, copy section between locators. If we have something on the actual clipboard, then we can actually insert it, but we don't, we could insert silence at locators or repeat section between locators. So in this case, let's do insert silence at locators, and then everything moves over, and we just have this empty space. If we have automation in our tracks, which we don't right now, then that would move over as well. It doesn't just stay the same place, everything gets shifted. So let's undo that for a second. The other option, which is sometimes really handy, of course, when we're doing this is to repeat that section that way we can have the same bass bones here. We have the same drums going through other parts Then we can just delete as we want and then put in the new parts that we want there. The last thing I just want to point out is that there are keyboard shortcuts already defaulted for most of these. And we have the insert section and the, that's the one that's on the clipboard using control command V or the silence at locators with control command Z. Then we can repeat with control command R and we can cut with control command X. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this two minute tip and I will see you soon.